So uh, welcome to Interior Weather and Wilderness Watchers. Today it's, uh, what is it? It's uh, January 15th. I'm Joey Only. So why was the forecast a little wrong? So you, uh, earlier this week I was mentioning we had this high pressure uh, bubble that kind of formed uh, just southwest of BC. And what's happened is uh, models were just a little bit wrong in its influence. And you can see that high pressure bubble is feeding up. It's also rapid into this guy, but these two winds are converging. So you have the low spinning this way, you have the high spinning this way, and they've created a bit of a boundary, and that's why we're getting some thunderstorm activity in this area today by Haida, between Haida Gwaii and Vancouver Island along the coast area, so play, you know, Bella Coola, wherever. Uh, and you can see just the influence of that high pressure up in there. Um, so, you know, as we get more and more data, sometimes the models change a little bit. All it's, all it's really changed is this guy's knocking on the door, and this guy's just saying, sorry, you got to wait 12 more hours to come in, you know. And that's uh, really the story of why the weather is the way it is today. Uh, a little later in the video today, um, something I'm saying gets muffled, and I'm talking about this exact same thing. I'm saying that uh, sometimes your forecaster calls for snow, and you say, well, it's raining. Where's the snow? And uh, that's happened, and I look at, at people's forecasts, and they say that in the group, and I see uh, on the air temperature map that, hey, uh, 500 feet above you, it's probably snowing. It's below zero right there. So... Uh, all snow, or all rain starts as snow and then melts on its way down through the atmosphere and turns into a raindrop. So all your forecast was wrong about was uh, a couple hundred feet. In this, in this uh, situation, all the forecasters were wrong about, all the models were wrong about was a matter of 12 hours or so. Let's go to the mountain. Just a beautiful day. So like I say, the forecast is delayed by 12 hours. We will have lots of snow in BC this weekend. Couple things I want to mention. Uh, starting Monday, and will be every Monday and Friday at 10 a.m. on CFUR Radio, you can join the Caribou Weather Dude for my uh, Prince George Radio reports. That's going to be real nice. And uh, this Sunday, the Comedological Report, Frankie McDonald and I. I think we have comedians Tim Nutt and John Sheehan acting as our uh, com uh, standby comedologists in the field. So it should be a good episode. And uh, hey, what a beautiful day. Enjoy it. See ya. As I've been saying, our weather's delayed by uh, 12 hours or so. We had this blue sky, but look at this uh, little stratiform here. And look at the direction he's facing. Uh, well, the sun's right there, so that's south and west is this way. And you see how it's coming out of the west. Just some signs that our high pressure is not going to last all that long. And the forecast was correct. It's just that uh, even the models and forecasters, uh, everybody was just a little off. And sometimes you gotta remember, you know, things like that, that sometimes forecasters aren't wrong. It's just that the timing is off by a couple hours. Something, uh, you know, you have these models and you keep putting de uh, data and data and data into them. And uh, sometimes you're missing uh, bits of data that actually change how the weather is gonna behave. So we keep figuring it out as we go. And we find out once in a while that, hey, everybody was a little wrong because the model that we predicted being the correct one well, that high pressure was just a little bit more willing to take a jump into BC. So that's the thing. And then, uh, you know, another good example of that too, people were saying to me, well, it's raining here in the, the uh, forecaster said it was going to snow today. And then I looked at their, the air temperature and realized that uh, maybe about 500 feet above them, it was snowing. But, uh, all rain starts as snowing. It melts on its way through the atmosphere, it turns into rain. So every raindrop is a snowflake first. So really all your forecaster was wrong about was uh, a couple hundred feet. <laughs> um, hey, so we we're just pointing out uh, some of the clouds when we we're coming down the mountain. And here we have some lenticular formations again. That's the second time this week. There's a stable layer of air. And that's, uh, if you look over this way, you can start to see, although maybe you can't tell if there's stuff in the way, that uh, more and more of that moisture is starting to coalesce on the mountain. So Somewhere down the uh, mountain ranges today, the snow will start, but I don't think it'll be here in Wells. Here's uh, my friend Dirk. We have the same birthday. Yeah, same birthday. Not only that, not 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 just one stable layer of air. We're gonna have stable heat in the house, thanks to Joey. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks a lot, man. Right on, Dirk. All right. See you next time.